Well, today is the World Day for Child Sexual Abuse Prevention. The Vatican has joined Harvard University to sponsor a three-day online symposium on abuse prevention and treatment. It is one of several efforts to combat and prevent child sexual abuse. Katerina Fuchs, associate professor at the Pontifical Gregorian University, joins us now from Rome to tell us more. Welcome, Katerina. Thank you so much for coming on. Can you tell us uh, about the recent international webinar at which you spoke? What was your message to the participants? Well, my main message in the webinar that was organized last week by, by WUKO in various languages was that we need to be aware of the shadow pandemic within the COVID-19 pandemic. We are living for more than one year now. So it, it means um, that during this last year, especially in times of lockdown, of social isolation and quarantine, the numbers of child maltreatment, child abuse, online and offline, as well as domestic violence have increased. So everybody needs to be aware of that. And I'm really of the opinion that any everybody can contribute to create a culture of awareness and sensitivity and a safer place for children and adolescents, especially in times of COVID-19. Can you talk about how the church uh, has collaborated with other organizations in order to raise awareness and, of course, protect the children? Um, well, there has been various contributions and collaborations over the last years. Um, just to mention the one of WUPO, the World Union of Catholic Women Organization. But also during the webinar, um, the president of the National Organization of Catholic men joined us. So also there is some kind of collaboration. And of course, as uh, Pope Francis always asked for, there is a need of an international, multicultural, interdisciplinary and interorganizational collaboration. And therefore, the church should also collaborate as she already does, uh, for example, with other universities, with Dadel, with private, so with secular universities, for example, with research institutes, but also, for example, with NGOs and other kinds of institutions and organizations um, that are co committed to safeguarding and to the prevention of any kind of maltreatment and abuse of minors. Uh, we don't have a lot of uh, time left, but I do want to ask you this. As mentioned, uh, there has been a rise in reports of child abuse. What do you think has led to that increase and, and what can be done to stop it? Well, there has been an increase um, all around the globe over the last year, um, which is linked to the pandemic. And as I said before, to periods of lockdown. So there have been uh, limited access to social services, to help limited access to activities, less occasions to meet other people and to talk. And so there's an increase that varies between 20 and 50% for maltreatment, for domestic violence and abuse. Online, it's even more in some countries. And what we need is really awareness of that. And then especially prepared people, uh, be they professional, be they lay people, to help to intervene, um, to ask how children and young people are doing, and then to link them or to offer also uh, professional help if they need. Well, Katerina, thank you so much for talking to us about this very important subject. Katerina Fuchs, Associate Professor at the Pontifical Gregorian University. Thank you again. You're very welcome. Thank you.